Hey everyone. In this video, we are looking at a new tool. It's part of the Video Ninja ecosystem. This is a Chrome extension that lets you pull individual videos from a website into OBS Studio, into vMix, into Meld Studio, uh, or sharing with others on the internet via Video Ninja. So the concept is maybe you're in a Discord, Google Meet, or a Zoom call with four guests, and you want to grab the individual videos uh, of each guest and pull them individually into your studio software. Historically, you might try to do a tab or screen share or window capture and then crop those videos, or you just might leave it as is and have the conferencing overlay up here, you know, mute buttons and, and branding, not very clean. So this simplifies that. It lets you pull the individual videos without the interface, without all the other buttons, and then you can arrange the individual videos with audio in your studio software as you see fit. So let's jump in. Uh, let's quickly install it. Um, you can go to extension.video.ninja to get some install options. We'll quickly just install it here via the Chrome Web Store. It's installed. Now I have Discord here. Let's um, just refresh to make sure the extension kicks on. So I have a video. This is uh, this is my current OBS output. And yeah, let's let's go here. Pin. We'll pin the extension we just installed so it's available. And then when we click on it, all the individual videos will appear as a list here. Uh, we can change settings, codecs, higher quality, things like that. But let's uh, just use the default and click publish video. We will now get the link for this video. I can click on it and as we can see in another tab, the video appears. So if I was to open up OBS um, as in here, uh, let's we can grab our view link, copy paste it. We go to OBS, we say plus browser source, put in our link, change the width and height, control audio. And now we have the feed. We can close that. We now have the feed from OBS or from Discord appearing in OBS. And we can do this for multiple people in the call. Now we can also then go to, let's say, um, let's go to Twitch. Let's find a video. Um, I don't think Shroud would mind. Um, let's click the little button, publish video, you can copy it, go back to OBS, browser, add, and we now have Shroud, a clean, Video shroud, no overlay, no, no nothing, just, um, just the shroud video, and that's pretty cool. So I can then put this here. Then I could have maybe like a, if I'm playing a game with friends over Discord, uh, I can grab their webcams from Discord. They can do whatever they're doing. I can then do picture in picture with my own OBS uh, of the individual feeds without the Discord overlay. Um, and this could also work for PlayStation or Xbox games. You might be streaming at least with a, I think maybe it's, I forgot which, one of those two consoles lets you stream directly to Discord. If that's the case, this is a great way to go from Discord into your OBS as well. Uh, the videos, you know, stream in the browser, uh, from the browser to your OBS peer to peer. So the 
video connection never leaves your computer. It stays on your local area network so long as you have no firewalls. And it lets you have, um, you know, let's say I enable the virtual camera. You can see how low latency that is. The latency between Discord and what we're getting in to OBS is virtually nothing. And that's going, um, yeah, that's, that's, anyways, um, pretty quick, pretty low latency. Okay. So let me, uh, go back and close all this. Um, it is available on the Chrome web store. If you install it through the Chrome web store, uh, it auto updates. If Chrome ever deletes the Chrome extension, however, which might happen, uh, you can get it from GitHub directly. As I mentioned, it is open source. So all the code is here. Um, there's also a simple downloaded zip file. You can download it, you can extract it, and then you can load it as an unpacked, uh, go to the tool extensions, extensions, manage extensions, load unpacked extensions, and then you can uh, load it from, from an unzipped folder. And then you have it that way, okay? Uh, privacy focus tab. Oh, I should mention that there's also a tab capture. So if you do want to capture the entire tab, um, and not just an individual, individual video, you have that option as well. So you can get the entire tab as well. And if you want to stop something, you just go back to the active streams, hit stop. You know, higher, you might want to change the bit rate to maybe like 12, hundred. If you're doing a game, uh, you can change the codec. Um, yeah. And it goes through video ninja. So you could in fact, actually even put a room here. And the cool thing about a room is if you have multiple people, uh, you can put them into a video ninja group scene automatically. And so you can use the video ninja tools like the mixer and the auto mixer. Uh, to automatically manage all the feeds. Kind of cool if you know Video Ninja. Uh, that's pretty powerful as well. If you ever wanted to make your own extension or your own tool, this is powered by uh, what I would call the Video Ninja SDK. This is a relatively new thing I've made a few weeks ago. It supports the browser. It also su supports Node.js. Um, it lets you build your own applications for the Video Ninja ecosystem. So if you want to do any sort of peer-to-peer -peer stuff, um, you can. I think, for an example, there's Video Ninja Clipboard. And this is an example of uh, the SDK where you can open up two links. Um, if you put something in this link, it will automatically synchronize with the other link. So you can copy and copy and paste across two different computers very easily. So I find with, if I have two different computers, I can copy and paste um, very easily th this way, different information. Uh, I just mentioned that because this is powered by the, the SDK also, which is also powering the Chrome extension. It's powering several other applications I'm, I'm building. Uh, so just throwing that out there. Okay, uh, so check it out, extension.video.ninja free Chrome extension, open source, give it a go. If you have uh, questions or support, I'm on discord at discord.video.ninja. Thank you, everyone. Take care.